Americans are filing for bankruptcy at the lowest rate since 2007. But tens of thousands of people are still being haunted by something called zombie debt. Here to discuss is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Uh, Jill, it sounds scary. What, what, what is zombie debt? Well, it is debt that simply will not die. So think about this. Let's say your credit card is stolen. Someone runs up a tab. You don't have to pay for it, but somehow this debt remains alive in the debt collection universe. Or in a bankruptcy, a judge can release you from paying the debt, but some of those debts are coming back and haunting people years later, showing up at debt collection agencies and on their credit reports. So why is this happening? Well, you know, this is big business, I have to say. Banks are selling old debts to collection agencies. Collection agencies are hoping you pay for it. The problem seems to be that a lot of people, even though there's an error on the debt, they're still making payments. They're scared their credit scores are going to be negatively impacted and they want to borrow money. When it's the bankruptcy, the problem seems to be that some banks are not reporting that these debts have actually been released. The Justice Department is actually investigating this right now. They're trying to figure out why are these reports being held up. So if you have zombie debt on your credit report, how do you get rid of it? Under federal law, you have the right to force a collector to prove that you owe that debt. If it's a bankruptcy, you should contact your attorney to try to fix the problem. If it goes on too long, do talk to the Consumer Protection Financial Bureau and report that mistake. Jill, thanks very much. Thank you.